Hi guys and welcome to another video by Channel Vegan Frodo. We have here again Plant Based Soul. Check them out on YouTube. And we we're talking about families and how our decisions of going vegan affected our family, how our family really reacted to that and all that kind of stuff. So how was it for you, Joshi? For me, um, I'm the only vegan in my family. So when I first went vegan, uh, there was obviously a pretty crazy reaction to my parents, especially my mother. Uh, they were a bit worried. They weren't really educated on it. So they were obviously like, oh, is he going to be okay and stuff? Um, that was kind of what I went through at first, but uh, they're more comfortable with it now. I've actually influenced my old man quite a bit, and he's reduced eating meat quite a bit, but he's still... Um, he still consumes it as well and dairy so uh, yeah I'm trying to just educate them as best as I can um, my mother's pretty bad but um, they just got to keep trying you know like family's really hard they think you're just going through this phase and stuff and like yeah you're just doing another one of those things that you normally do you know what I mean? <laughs> like a like, diet or something yeah. they're used to all that yeah exactly exactly but you know, when time goes on, they'll obviously see, uh, you just got to lead by example. I think that's the most important part. So, and they'll see that you're doing really good. And if you can show them it, that you're thriving from it, then I think that's the best way to spread the message as well. Yeah, I agree with that. I had a bit of drama with my family. Hi, mom. I know you watched this <laughs> when I went vegan. And I love you, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, even my, my grandma still freaks out at me when she finds, well, when she, she asks me if I'm still vegan and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I still am. And she freaks out. And every time when she asks me if I'm still vegan, she keeps on. So does it mean you still don't eat cheese? Does it mean you still don't, eat, don't have milk? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> this is part of being a vegan. And she like freaks out that I'm going to become an anemic and die. But it's been like two and a half years. And yes, like sure you have to sometimes keep track of what you're taking in and what nutrients you're taking in to ensure that you have this and that and just everything. Like a balanced diet, well-balanced diet. Not just like chips and I don't know, Doritos and whatever else that's Oreos. That junk vegan food. You need to like actually be eating whole Whole plant. For sure. If we want to lead by example, you know, we got to do our best to, to eat the clean and the right foods that make us thrive, you know. Like mm -hmm. if we want to influence them and to show them that we can thrive off it, then we need to do it the right way. So you still got to eat clean, still eat well. Um, and be healthy. Like eat healthy. Exactly. Carb up. Carb up. All right. Thanks. Uh, let's not make this video super long. Thanks for being here again. Keep keep spreading the message. Keep telling your family and lead leave by example. Absolutely. Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Thanks, Joshua. And um, go on his channel. I'll put it down below. Thank you. See you again soon. Bye.